There's nothing quite like seeing your favorite artist live in concert. But the COVID-19 pandemic pulled the plug on thousands of performances, putting millions of ticket holders in limbo. When Grammy-winning singer Alicia Keys announced she was coming to Georgia, Jacqueline Johnson just knew she had to be there. As soon as I received uh, the fan email from her website, I bought the tickets literally right then. It was an event we had planned for for a long time. She paid Ticketmaster nearly $700 to see Keys perform here at this Atlanta concert venue. That was before the COVID-19 pandemic. That's when I realized, wait a minute, it's no way she's touring right now. The pandemic meant no concert for Jacqueline or anyone else. At least that's what she thought. The first thing I did was log into my Ticketmaster account and it said that the show had been postponed, not canceled, postponed. It's an issue for tens of thousands of people. Ticketmaster canceled or postponed at least 38,000 concerts and events across North America. Anyone with tickets for a canceled event would, per Ticketmaster policy, get a refund. But in Jacqueline's case, Ticketmaster kept her money because her concert was postponed, and thus her tickets were still valid, even though she didn't know when or if she'd be able to see the concert. That means you guys are holding my money hostage for who knows how long you don't know. As unfair as it sounds, this Emory University law professor says what Ticketmaster is doing is legal. They know you want to go see those performers, They're your fan. So there's not a lot of negotiating leverage that the average consumer would have in those contexts. And think about it, are you really going to call up Ticketmaster and say, you know, I don't really like this part of what you're telling me. Can I change it? The answer would be no. There's also a big reason why artists like Alicia Keys may be hesitant to cancel a concert, even during a nationwide pandemic. They're not making the vast majority of their money by selling or downloading or streaming music anymore, right? It's the concert that brings in the money. So cancellation means a big significant hit. But it also means Jacqueline's nearly $700 are in limbo. She turned to Inside Investigations for help. And after we contacted Ticketmaster, they gave her a refund. From the time you first contacted me, within a week, the money was back in my account. Ticketmaster eventually rescheduled Jacqueline's concert for July of 2021. She hopes once the COVID-19 pandemic ends, she can finally see Alicia Keys in person. I want to be there with my granddaughter like we planned 